Pray, forgive me my lateness. Lady Yugiri! Master Alphano, I am pleased to see that the light of resolve shines in your eyes once more. Ah, yes. How pathetic I must have seemed to you when we last met. I am ashamed to recall it. For a time I was well and truly lost. But with the aid of my comrades, I have since refound my purpose and I shall take care not to misplace it again. Since your escape from Ulda, my fellow Shinobi and I have shadowed the Crystal Braves every step, in hopes of learning the Scion's whereabouts. Regrettably, our investigation has yet to yield any useful information. Pray, forgive us. You need not apologize, my lady. We are grateful for all that you have done on our behalf. Besides, Ralban is no less a friend, and we cannot well abandon him to his fate. Hosan, the three of us shall attend to the Flame General's rescue. Pray, draw away the guards by the entrance. Take Doware and Higiri with you. With me!
This changes nothing. It is over, Elbert. Lay down your arms and surrender yourself to justice. Justice? Justice for what exactly? Twas not I who assassinated the Sultana, boy. Ere we debate who is responsible for the assassination, I would ask whether an assassination took place at all. Oh, clever little shite. If you think you fight for justice, lad, you'd best wake up. The truth is, you fight for whoever bloody well tells you to. Can you not see you're being used by the Scions, the city-states, even the Crystal Braves? They none of them care a whit what you want, only what you can do for them. And how do I know this? Because I'm the same. A pawn to be used as my master's see fit. All I ever wanted was to liberate my homeland. And I ate dirt to make it happen. But what have I achieved after all these years in servitude? Nothing. Not a bloody thing. If we ourselves are not free, free to think and to act, how are we ever to reclaim our own land? Know this. There is nothing I would not give to take back Alamigo. Nothing! You'll not get away! No, Master Alphano. Now is not the time. I'm but a cripple and a fool. And still you came for me. I'm in your debt. We are all of us fools of fate, General. But even fools have a part to play.
Rest assured, I was not planning to die till it avenged the Sultana. Still, your words are welcome, lad. Know this, Ilbert. There is nothing I would not give to see you pay for what you've done. My wealth, my arm, my life. Nothing. General, are you aware that Lord Lollarito has yet to announce the Sultana's death to the public? What? No. No, I was not aware of that, nor of anything else outside my cell. It is passing strange, though. I assumed the bastard would make it known at the first opportunity, and set about tearing down the Sultanate. As did we all. And it is indeed strange that he did not. Strange, or perhaps revealing. Now, I have no conclusive proof, nor do I wish to give you false hope. But I have reason to believe that her grace may yet live. What? But how can that be? Forgive me, friends, but it is not safe here. Let us continue this conversation without...
My dearest friends, praise be unto the Twelve for delivering you from the clutches of treachery. Father! Pippin, my son, and Master Papashan besides. Forgive me, Father. I should have been at Her Grace's side. Save your tears. The sword. You. It was I who arranged this gathering. And judging by your perplexed expressions, it would seem introductions are in order. I am Dulala, head of the Order of Noldthor, and member of the Syndicate. What you said about the Sultana, is it true? Is she alive? Young man, I understand you were with the Sultana when she drank from the poisoned goblet and collapsed. Would I be correct in assuming that you did not personally verify Her Grace's vital signs? Why ask when tis playing? You know the answer. Calm yourself, General, and let me finish. The truth is not as you imagine it. You are all victims of a most ingenious ruse. A ruse conceived to eliminate the threat posed by Teleji Adeleji. Tis my belief that Teleji plotted the Sultana's assassination alone, but that Lollarito caught wind of his plot and exploited it to his own ends. He sought to manipulate you into eliminating Teleji for him and you duly obliged. At one fell swoop, he removed his two foremost rivals, all the while remaining above suspicion. God strike me down for a fool. But the Sultana, how can it be that she lives? She lives because Lollarito willed it. Her own lady-in-waiting is but one of his many little birds. By her sleight of hand, the poison was switched for a less deadly draught before it could reach her mistress's lips. Some manner of sedative, perchance, of a potency sufficient to induce a slumber like unto death. Were I to guess, I would say her grace is being held somewhere, dreaming dreams of a brighter Uldar, even as we speak. Oh, none more. I will never forgive Lolorito for his part in this. Though Lolorito's hands are far from clean, they did pluck her grace from the jaws of death. That must count for something. And though one may call the man's methods into question, it cannot be denied that he knows the value of stability, to the very gill like as not. He craves power, tis true, but he has no desire to depose the Sultana. I had never taken sides in your feud with the monetarists, but it was not for want of concern for our nation's welfare. Indeed, t'was out of the desire to see order restored that I furnished your Far Eastern friends with information and arranged this gathering. I hope you are ready to work, General, for there is much work to be done. Our first priority must be to bring matters back into balance. Lest you forget Her Grace's words, the true wealth of Uldar lies in the health, happiness and hopes of her people. As for the more worldly kind of wealth, I am content to let Lollorito help himself to whatever Teleji Adeleji left behind. You, meanwhile, must do that which you alone can do. Rescue her grace and take your place at her side once more, for her sake and that of our nation.
Ishgard cannot well endure another assault. Even should her knights succeed in turning back the Horde, the casualties will be catastrophic. But what other choice do we have? It's not like we can talk it over with them. Dragons and men aren't exactly on speaking terms. With certain notable exceptions. You don't mean Iceheart? When last you spoke with her, she lamented her crimes, did she not? Then there remains a sliver of hope. If we can persuade Iceheart to act as our intermediary, we may yet be able to convince Nidhogg to abandon his bloody course. If there is to be a meeting, I would accompany you. Estinian? Even with your intermediary, Nidhogg's blood rage may render him deaf to reason. However, the mere attempt may afford our forces precious time to prepare. Of course, you might also consider a more direct approach to ending this conflict. With the power of the Eye at my disposal, and the vaunted strength of the Warrior of Light, we could conceivably slay the beast outright. If we are to risk a face-to-face -face meeting with the Dread Worm, I for one would feel safer in the company of the Azure Dragoon. However, I should only turn to your lance if my words failed to find their mark. Is that clear? Perfectly. I shall assume that Isart enjoys similar diplomatic protection until instructed otherwise. A word of advice. Think carefully before divulging the particulars of this plan to Sir Emmerich. It would not do to have the Lord Commander accused of consorting with heretics. Indeed. I thank you for your counsel, Estinian. We shall be honored to have you with us. I am glad to be of service. I want the defenses of the Outer Ward rechecked. See to it that the ballistas are in good repair and supplied with enough ammunition for a prolonged siege. At once, my lord. Ah, 
Tutsim, I have visitors, and unlike those messing beyond our walls, these ones are welcome. Pray forgive us for interrupting you in the midst of your preparations, Sir Emmerich, but our suit concerns the impending assault. To speak plain, we believe there is a chance the invasion might be halted before it even begins. I can divulge little more at this time, but I must nevertheless request that you advise the Holy See to refrain from launching any preemptive sorties whilst we seek to put our plans in motion. I will gladly lend my support to any endeavor that could spare the blood of my countrymen, but I would know more of the cause you would have me champion. Will you not share aught of this mysterious undertaking? Know that I have offered my lance to aid in this endeavor. I cannot claim that its success is assured, but our actions should serve to delay Nidhogg's advance at the very least which is more than can be said for the ill-conceived counter-attack advocated by the sea's more vocal crusaders. They offer glorious death, but little hope of victory. Aye, their proposal does not inspire confidence. Our resources should rightly be spent shoring up the city's defenses. Hmm. The Azure Dragoon and the Warrior of Light sallying forth together to face the Dread Worm Nid. I must admit, the mere thought of it does much to dispel my misgivings. Go then. Carry out your plan. I shall do what I can for you within the Holy See. Such commotion. Yes, Your Eminence. The bells of the Observatorium warn of our enemy's approach. So, the dragons are coming. Let them come, in their hundreds and their thousands. With the divine blade in our hands, we shall rend their flesh and drown the heretics in their master's blood. Even Nidhogg and his foul brood shall be powerless to resist us. And when we have rid the world of their pestilence, we shall turn our attention to our Asian allies. See that they are suitably rewarded for their invaluable assistance. If I may, Your Eminence, the Paragons wield powers strange and unknowable. Can we be certain that they will not see through our deception? We can be certain of naught save the righteousness of our cause. If you would be a true leader of men, you must possess conviction as well as caution. We seek to excise the root of an evil that has blighted us for a thousand years. The risk is worth the reward. And what of Estinian and this warrior of light? They have plans of their own. Leave them to their purpose. We must each play the role we have been given. 
you and your chosen brothers most of all. For the glory of King Thornton.